हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनादर प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम इज मिनिमम एब्सोल्यूट डिफरेंस सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गिवन एरिया ऑफ डिस्टिंग टीम टीचर्स फाइंड ऑल पेयर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स विद मिनिमम एब्सोल्यूट डिफरेंस ऑफ एनी टू एलिमेंट्स वट डज दिस मीन दैट वी नीड टू रिटर्न ऑल द पेयर सच दैट द पेयर हैज मिनिमम एब्सोल्यूट डिफरेंस Now, what is minimum absolute difference? So, see, if this is a pair a comma b, then a comma b are from array. A should be less than b, and b minus a equals to the minimum absolute difference of any two elements in array. Let's see a test case and understand. So, uh, we have this array, and if you see the minimum difference between any two elements in this array is one. See, two minus one is one. right so there is uh, nothing less uh, no difference less than one so we need to in the output there should be all pairs whose uh, like whose difference is one so if you see 1 comma 2 has difference one 2 comma 3 has difference one and 3 comma 4 has difference one so minimum absolute difference is one for all these pairs hence the output is this uh, and similarly for this test case also if you see the minimum difference is two and uh, there is only one pair which has minimum absolute difference 2 which is 1 comma 3 so that's in the output let's see for this test case and let's see how we can approach the problem see we need to return all the pairs right all the pairs which have the difference minimum which have difference minimum that is if a comma b is a pair then the difference between b minus a should be the minimum difference right so first of first of all we need to know what is the minimum absolute difference if we know the minimum absolute difference then only we can find the pairs na so if we know the minimum absolute difference then we can find the pairs so let's say we know the minimum absolute difference so over here if you will see the smallest uh difference which we can get will be 4 that is if you subtract 8 from uh from 4 you will let me just check once okay so like if you see if you see uh, this is minus 4 let's say 27 minus 23 so if you do 27 minus 23 it will come out to be 4 and there is no difference less than 4 so 4 is the minimum absolute difference me four is the minimum absolute difference now how will we calculate pairs let so for now let's suppose we know what is minimum absolute difference we have calculated it somehow now we need to know uh, all the pairs which have this difference no so one way of calculating all the pairs finding out all the pairs is like running two loops nested loops one is the outer loop and then the inner loop j1 and similarly we can have two nested loops so that will be o of n square and this will give us tle why because if you see the constraints in the constraints the maximum array length could be 10 raised to power 5 that means our n could be maximum 10 raised to power 5 so according to that this will be 10 raised to power 5 square which will come out to be 10 raised to power 10 so this will give us tle so in order to calculate pairs this approach is not correct we should not use nested loop otherwise we'll get tle so what other thing we can do see whenever we have to calculate pairs na and uh, uh, we cannot use the nested uh, approach nested loop approach then what we can do is we can use sorting how sorting will help let's see that so if we sort this array let's sort it first of all it will be minus 14 minus 10 minus 4 3 Eight, and then it will be nineteen, twenty-three, and twenty-seven. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Okay. So now, see, we need to calculate. First of all, we need to know what is the minimum absolute difference. So what we can, how we can find the minimum absolute difference? We can compare these two elements, these two elements, these two elements every time. So obviously, since they are in sorted order. the minimum uh, the difference will be because these are in sorted so we can find out the minimum absolute difference so let's take a different uh, variable minimum absolute difference and we can 
just compare the adjacent elements so minus 10 minus minus 14 this will give us minus 10 plus 14 which is 4 hence as of now the minimum absolute difference initially we will take us in take it infinity so we, uh, now it is 4 the minimum difference now we will compare uh, minus 4 and minus 10 so minus 4 minus minus 10 so this will come out to be 6 so 6 is not less than 4 4 is already there so in this way we can find out the minimum absolute difference we will compare both the elements till the end so now we have found the minimum absolute difference so see sorting one benefit of doing sorting was we we can easily find the minimum absolute difference now secondly ne we need to find the pairs so we have to choose all those pairs whose difference is this four na so same thing we can do what we can do is we can uh, what we can do we can just simply compare these two elements every time so if this give us the difference 4 then that those elements are our are, are answer so if you see minus 10 minus minus 14 if you do this like this is your a sorry this is your b and this is your a so b minus a it will give us 4 so since minimum absolute difference is 4 and this pair is also giving us 4 so this pair will be included in our answer so minus 40 uh, minus 10 comma uh, minus 14 comma minus 10 will be our answer one of the answer it will be one of our answer similarly when you will compare 19 when you will do 19 minus 23 19 uh, sorry 23 minus 19 over here 23 minus 19 then you will get 4 so 4 is equal to minimum absolute difference which we calculated so this pair will also come in our answer 19 comma 23 so same approach what you are doing we are just comparing the adjacent elements every time and if they if the difference of those are equal to the minimum absolute difference we add them to the output so i hope you understood the approach uh, at the dry run let's see the code now code will be very easy see so uh, first of all we have sorted the array in the sending order and then what we are doing is we have taken a, a uh, this uh, vector we have taken this answer vector so since we are returning a 2d array so we have taken it vector vector because at each index there will be a further vector if you see this is at each index there is an array right so then what we are doing this loop is for calculating the minimum absolute difference so we are comparing the adjacent elements and if the difference is less than the minimum difference we are we are like choosing minimum of these two and after that we are running another loop and we are comparing the adjacent elements and if the adjacent elements difference is minimum difference just add it add that pair to our answer and at last we are returning the answer so if we submit this it will be uh, it is accepted and uh, the time complexity since we are doing sorting is o of n log n since we are doing sorting and for the space complexity it will be o of if we uh, like at max whatever the uh, like you can say uh, at max we can have uh, around to around n in our n uh, let's say if the length of the output is x then our uh, this is x space complexity is o of x you can say so i hope you understood the problem and the dry run approach if you like the video please like it share with your friends subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next video thank you